I want to share something with you that I believe the Holy Ghost has put on my spirit. While the world mocks, while our media makes a joke, while everybody laughs, I don't think they understand what is on the horizon. Job chapter 5 verse 7. Job chapter 5 verse 7. I want you to know folks, these are not my words. Obviously, I'm reading from the scripture. These are things that have been revealed to me this day. Job chapter 5 verse 7. Yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. Reading again, verse 7, chapter 5 of Job. Yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. I've entitled this message, Behold, Trouble, Trouble. It's amazing how that the media, by means of technology, through meteorologists, scientists, can warn the United States and we can receive warning worldwide if the technology is good enough that a storm is approaching. Tsunamis, there's warnings. But there are a few things that there's no warning for. Are you listening? The meteorologists can see the making of a storm. They can see the currents, the wind patterns all changing. But they don't know exactly what that storm is going to do. And they can tell how kind of how bad the storm's going to be. They can warn people. But they don't know where the whirlwind is going to appear. Please listen. They don't know, and there's no indicator, and there's no warning of a forest fire, of a fire, when it breaks. They don't know it's coming. They don't have any warning of an earthquake. Are you listening? There are things, technologies in place that can help us indicate, warn us of something approaching. But the whirlwind, the fire, and the earthquake, there's no warning for. Are you listening? Thank God there's somebody that's humble enough, wise enough, that's not laughing, that's not making a joke. About what's about to come. Some can see it. While the media laugh their heads off. While America laughs and mocks. Listen to the scripture. Job chapter 41 verse 19. Out of his mouth go burning lamps and sparks of fire leap out. Listen. 
Isaiah chapter 50, verse 11. Behold, all ye that kindle a fire, that compass yourselves about with sparks, walk in the light of your fire and in the sparks that you have kindled. This shall you have of my hand. You shall lie down in sorrow. Now listen to this scripture. Job chapter 18 verse 5. Yea, the light of the wicked shall be put out. And the spark of his fire shall not shine. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 31. And the strong shall be as tow. And the maker of it as a spark. And they shall both burn together. And none shall quench them. Behold, trouble. I do believe that God has revealed to me that North Korea is the spark that's going to begin World War III. It only takes a spark. How much does it take to get an engine on a vehicle running? Just a spark. Are you listening? Just a spark. A spark can, ch can just start a world forest fire, folks. A forest fire. Will North Korea be the spark that begins World War III that leads to Armageddon? All North Korea has to do is strike South Korea and we're in a war. And this young man just like his dad, doesn't listen to counsel. He does not listen to his advisors. He's a stark picture of the church today. Are you listening? Just a young man, he'll listen to his counselors, but he will not do what they say. He wants to show off. It's just another video game. Do you understand where we are, folks? I do believe that North Korea is the spark. And there'll be no turning back. We are at the door of what the world would consider the most dangerous game. But it's not a game. It's not a game. The devil is playing for keeps. All he's interested in is taking souls to hell. That's all he's interested in. He doesn't care how you get there. He doesn't care how you get there. It doesn't matter to him how you get there. We're talking about people, China. Think about this. Do you know why they're going to bring back the guillotine? Do you know why they're bringing back the sword? Why they're bringing back the beheading to execute? For... 
harvesting. 